Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am combining an art supplies haul with a what's in my travel bag video as I'm going away at the weekend and thought it'd be fun to share with you a few of the supplies I've bought and show you exactly which art supplies I'm taking on holiday with me. There's also a few cheap art hacks I have which you might find helpful, so I hope you enjoy the video. The bag I'm using by the way is one I bought some time back and mentioned in a previous art haul video. It's an oil cloth bag with a small zip pocket in the front and has a zip closure across the top. But this and all the art supplies I mentioned today will be listed in the description box if you want to go and check them out. So let's get straight into it with the first art supply which is the Paul Rubens set of 12 professional watercolours in this pretty pink tin. You may have seen me review this recently, but I'll link a card above if you want to go and check that out. It's really light, compact, and I'm really looking forward to using it. This metal tin measures a neat 12 by 7 centimeters when shut and cost me £22.99 on Amazon. The tin opens up to reveal two good mixing areas and the quality of the paints is really nice. I have customized it a bit and added in a cobalt turquoise but since all the pans are removable, you can personalize it however you want to suit your own needs or preferences. Next up are my paintbrushes, which I've stored in this plastic toothbrush holder. This I think is a really neat art hack for ensuring your brushes are protected whilst traveling, and you can pick them up for as little as a pound from the chemist or supermarket. For the brushes, I've chosen to take four, which aren't new, but I really like them. The first three are Princeton Velvet Touch brushes which came in a set and cost $34.49 on Amazon. I have a size 8, a size 4 and a 3 8 of an inch angle shader. The fourth brush is a size 8 again but it's a silver black velvet brush which also came as part of a 3 piece set and cost $35.54. This one is a synthetic and squirrel hair blend as opposed to the synthetic Princeton brushes. I like this one because it tends to hold a lot more water and paint than the Princeton brushes, but the Princeton brushes can get a really nice fine point and I really like that for details too. Now also from the chemist I bought this little clear plastic bottle and this is just to hold some water in when I'm out and about with my watercolours. It's not big, it's not expensive, but it does fit nicely into my bag and will be easy and light to carry along. Next is a product that I did buy especially for the trip and it's the Faber-Castell Click and Go Water Cup. This two pack costs £5.90 on Amazon and the telescopic mechanism means they only take up a minimal amount of space in my travel bag. They have a really tough and durable design and are easy to pop out when you want to use them and to collapse back down again when you've finished. They also have a waved rim which is really handy for resting your paintbrush on. Now we're on to the first of two sketchbooks I'm taking. This is the Watercolour Travel Journal by C. White of Brighton. It's A5 in size, has a landscape format, and is filled with 60 sheets of 200 GSM acid-free cold press watercolour paper. It has an elastic retaining band to keep it all neatly together and an internal back pocket opening on the shorter side. This cost me £11.50 on Amazon. I haven't actually tried this watercolour sketchbook before but I have tried other CY of Brighton products and I've been really impressed with them so I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. There is also a ribbon marker in the sketchbook and it comes with a really nice hardback cover which feels really nice quality. The second sketchbook I'm taking is also by CY of Brighton and cost £8.25. This one though is a cloth hardback square sketchbook measuring 140 by 140 centimeters and is described as being an all media sketchbook. It has 140 GSM cartridge paper in it which is acid free and sized for extra wet strength. You also get a huge 190 pages in this book and I absolutely love it. These square sketchbooks come in I think three different sizes, this one being the smallest and I'm currently using one of the larger ones as my main rough sketchbook, so 
so I know it can cope with pretty much any media you throw at it. It doesn't have a storage pocket in the back, nor an elastic retaining band or page marker, but personally I think it's worth compromising on those things to get the user friendly size and volume of good quality paper in this one. It's also easy enough to pop in a couple of elastic bands in your travel bag, which can be used to mark your page and keep your pages open, so that's another little art hack for you if you choose to buy a similar sketchbook. I'm also going to be taking a few of these metal fold back binder clips as I find these really helpful for holding down my watercolour sketchbook pages. These you can pick up from any stationer's or office supply shop. In the front section of my bag I've also put in a few smaller supplies like a couple of rolls of washi tape. These I use around the edge of my paintings to create a nice crisp border. I'm also taking this small Derwent spray bottle which currently costs £5 on Amazon. This is really neat and compact and is perfect for pre-wetting your paper or to add special effects to your paintings. You could also spritz your face with it if you feel the need. Then I've got a pack of tissues for cleaning or drying brushes and I've put in a pocket colour wheel too. I don't know if I'll need it but it doesn't take up much room and may come in handy for mixing colours or for choosing different colour palettes. So now we get on to my Smartfit pencil case which again isn't new but is still going strong and I really like it. I think I mentioned it in one of my last art haul videos so I'll try and link that either in a card above or at the end of this video. There are two zipped compartments in this pencil case and in the first one I have a plastic eraser as well as a Faber-Castell kneaded eraser for lifting and lightening pencil sketches. I have some spare HB Pentel pencil leads in size 0.7mm as well as some spare erasers for my favourite mechanical pencil which I'll show you in a minute. In the other inner pocket on this side I have a regular two hole pencil sharpener as well as a really tiny sharpener for another of my mechanical pencils. I'm also taking a few of the Prismacolor colour raised pencils for sketching and have got one in a terracotta colour and one in a lavender colour. These make a nice change to sketching in graphite and erase really well. Lastly on this side I have a small plastic ruler and a couple of blending stumps. The second zip compartment of this pencil case opens right out to reveal two more storage areas, which is where I've put my Derwent water brushes. I'm taking the set of three which is available on Amazon for £8.75 at the moment. This set gives you three different sizes and shapes to choose from, so whether you want a fine, medium or chisel tip, there is something there for every need. These can be easily filled with water and are perfect for painting plain air offering a portable, leak-proof and easy to clean solution to painting on the go. They have a square lid too which is different to other water brushes I've seen, meaning they won't roll away. They are also very easy to unscrew and refill and can be easily distinguished between due to the number on the side of each brush. I really like painting with these as the nibs are pretty firm so are good for details and sharp lines and the flow of water is easily controlled just by squeezing on the barrel. So next up I have a pretty unexciting regular HB pencil and the first of my two mechanical pencils. This one is my favourite mechanical pencil, it is the Pentel P207 pencil which comes with a 0.7mm lead and is available on Amazon for £4.64. This also comes with a built in eraser and a pocket clip and three leads for refilling. The spare pencil leads and small erasers I showed you in the first section of this pencil case are for this pencil. The second pencil I've packed is this Faber-Castell 2B clutch pencil with a thicker 2mm lead. This has a hexagonal barrel organic grip and it's this lead that I used that tiny sharpener for I showed you earlier. At the moment this is available on Amazon for £6.95 and replacement leads come in a pack of 10 for £12.17. Moving on to the right hand netted part of the pencil case I have another new supply and this is the PBO drawing gum in a handy pen form. 
I got this as my Molotow 2mm masking fluid pen ran out and I found the PBO gum in a bottle really good so I'm hoping this is the same. This precision marker costs £4.95 at the moment on Amazon and claims to have an unbreakable plastic tip which doesn't splay. I'm guessing the masking fluid inside may be pale blue like the bottle and it looks to have a spare nib on the side too so I'm really looking forward to testing this out. Next up is the Tombow Mono Eraser and this is a super fine point eraser which is great for detailed erasing as well as removing fine pencil lines to create whiskers, fur or hair details in your pencil work. It has a 2.3mm round tip and is refillable and is currently on Amazon for just £3.33. So it's definitely worth a go if you haven't tried one of these before. I also like to take away with me a white gel pen in case I want to add highlights to any of my sketches or paintings and the one I use is the Uniball Signo Broad. This has a 1mm stainless steel tip and I find gives a really even flow of ink. You can pick them up from any good stationers or on Amazon for about 2 or £3. So coming to the end and last but not least I've also picked out a few of my favourite fine liners. The first of these is the Copic Black Multiliner and this is in a size 0.3mm. I really like these Copic Multiliners and I've been using them for quite a time so I know that they are permanent and they do resist being painted on. But in case that one runs out as it's not new I have a fallback and that is the Unipin Fineliner in the same size so 0.3mm. This is also water and fade proof. Another of my favourite fine liners is the Pigma Micron, which is a slightly larger 0.5mm nib and is also fade proof and waterproof. It's one which I've tried and tested in the past, so I know it does the trick. Okay, so the very last thing in my pencil case is another fine liner, but instead of being black, this time it's dark sepia coloured, just because you don't always want black. This Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen is again waterproof and light fast and has a fine nib. I think it came in a pack of four different sizes, this being the smallest of the four, being classed as S for super fine and costs around £8 for the set. These are really good quality pens and definitely worth considering next time you need to invest in a new fine liner. But that's it guys, that's all the art supplies I'm taking on a holiday in my art travel bag. Now all I've got to do is pack them all back in. Before I go though, there are a couple of announcements. Firstly, next week's video will be going out on Thursday and I'm really excited for you to see it so make sure you look out for that. And for the two weeks after that, whilst I'm still away on holiday, I am planning on scheduling in a video each Friday, all being well, so look out for those as well. Don't forget if you like this video to give it a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here, as I really need and appreciate your support. You can also hit the bell icon too if you want to be sure not to miss a single video and get notified as soon as I upload. Thank you all so much for watching, have a great weekend and take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!